This is a 2016 Honda CRV. The spark plugs on this vehicle have not been replaced for five years. That's what the owner of the vehicle says. Incredibly, the vehicle is still running okay, still running fine. So I'm gonna be replacing them right now and also the valve cover gasket. One, two, three, four, five, ten millimeter bolts for this cover. This plastic cover here has a grommet. We just pull it out or pry it out. Here is the grommet, as you can see. The auto sensor, just press on the tip and pull out the connector. Here is the tip, as you can see. Now I'm going to be taking out this hose from here. Also, this connector here. It has the tap on this side, we just press on the tap and pull it out. Alright, this wire harness here has a clip here, we just push on the clip and pull it out. And this connector here too, this sensor here, this wire harness here is uh, hooked over here. Just pull it out this way. See? Alright, 10 millimeter bolts for the ignition coils. See, the tap right there is so clear, so just press it and pull out the connector. I didn't even have to remove the ignition coils from the wire harness. I could have just do this, move everything to the other side. All right, I'm gonna be taking out this wire harness from the alternator finally. I disconnected the battery already. 12 millimeter nut. Definitely right now I can move the wire harness a little bit more. 10 millimeter bolt. If you're gonna use cordless ratchets, make sure you loose them with a ratchet first. And I'm gonna be removing this hose first before I finish loosening up this uh, this thing here. By the way, this hose is for the PVC valve. see how the spark plugs come out since these spark plugs have not been replaced in five years the owner of the vehicle says they lucky this vehicle is still running like that the, those spark plugs five years is incredible all right i'm gonna be pulling out the spark plugs right now even though they have not replaced this power plug for five years, but they don't seem to be the stuck. All right, they don't look that bad compared to not being replaced for five years. That's what they said. So they don't look bad at all. Alright, as a reminder, the new spark plugs I have are NGK in this case and do not use any any six grease in this case and uh, NGK spark plugs. NGK does not recommend to use any, any six grease on their spark plugs. Also, the gap on the spark plugs comes already set up so I don't have to do anything about it. Do not drop it at all. Just uh, let it sit carefully in the bottom of the spark plug well. And we install all of them by hand first. And you turn the spark plugs at 13 foot pounds. You see the cutouts here on the cylinder head, we have to apply sealing here, otherwise it's gonna leak oil. And do this just 3 minutes before installing the valve cover with a new gasket. And on this side we have to cut, one in the bottom and one on top, we have to apply sealing too. And same on the rear on this side, and same on the other side too, on all corners. And apply sealing just 3 minutes before installing the valve cover, otherwise the sealing is gonna skin and it might leak oil.
and I'm gonna replace this small gasket here and by the way this grommet and this valve cover cannot be replaced they are not serviceable but there are some that have two small bolts on the side that uh, those can be replaced not these ones this is the new one here and I already cleaned that group here with spray it's very clean so I'm gonna go ahead and install the gasket right now Alright, I'm gonna install the valve cover right now. I took out the connector from the throttle body right there. That's so this wire harness can give me more space here, as you can see. Alright now the gasket is still in place here I can see it but I'm not sure on the other side I'm gonna I'm gonna put a mirror on the other side and I'm gonna make sure it's in place before bolting it. If the gasket got out of place on the other side then I have to take it out again. Thank God the gasket is in place and I install everything back here. And I always hand tie in these bolts first and then I'm gonna be torquing them to 8 foot pounds. Just make sure you don't squish the, the gasket out of, uh, out of the valve cover. All these things are plastic, you don't tie them uh, too much. And when you torque them, just to start on the metal of the valve cover and then spread it out to the sides. So they all are tying evenly. And before I install this valve cover, I forgot to mention that I pulled this uh, this hose here with a uh, bunch as you can see. This is the connector for the throttle body and the tab is on the other side, it's in this position like this. So you have to get that tab from the other side, press it and pull it out. Before doing anything here on the alternator, make sure the battery is always disconnected. Make sure you don't forget the horse and the PVC valve on the other side here. Alright, that's the engine up and running right there. As you can see, it's running so smoothly, no problem. It was running before replacing the car plugs, but it has some kind of vibration due to the car plugs being so old, five years in the car. Also, the valve cover is not leaking anymore all around. It was leaking all of this area here. Not a lot, but it was leaking already. Alright, job done here. The engine is running so smoothly with no problem and uh, it's not leaking oil anymore. It was leaking a little bit of oil by the valve cover gasket, but everything is fine right now. Thanks for watching this video and God bless you all.